Pep Talk in Paradise with Lisa Rinna and Ty Treadway. On today's show, One Life to Live's Michael Easton reveals the bright side of being on the dark side. Coming up next, One Life to Live's Michael Easton reveals how Dracula helped him be a better vampire. You fell in love with our first guest when he played the mysterious and sexy vampire on Port Charles. Yeah. Now he's more popular than ever as FBI agent John McBain on One Life to Live. Please welcome for the first time, the very first time on our show, Mr. Michael Easton. Yeah, Being here. Have Michael here. <laughs> First of all, I just want to say, Michael Easton, you are the Johnny Depp of daytime. Let me tell you right now, there is nobody cooler in daytime. I'm telling you, there, I got Michael Easton posters all over my dressing room. He does, so Michael. It's embarrassing at times. Hopefully, you still feel that way when this is all over. Oh. No, but you're notoriously shy with the press. So we're... First time ever doing an interview. On really? Uh, right? Yeah, first time. I'm... Wow. Well, I feel honored. Very wow. honored to have you. I feel honored. Thank no, no, you. No, it's because of you guys, because you both did it, and you have a great, you know, you, you handle it with dignity and respect, and you're charming, and so I figure if I'm going to do this and be a soap talk virgin, I want to have my first wow. time with you guys. You know, it's his first interview, and he's already learning how to lie to the host. That's good stuff, man. I watch. I'll lie. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about John McBain. First of all, I want to talk about when you first joined the show, uh, I remember, I was on One Life there. at the time, yeah. and I remember everybody kept saying, oh, man, Michael Easton, because Roger Howarth had just vacated the role of Todd. Right. It just seemed such an obvious fit that when you came there, you would be playing Todd. But you, they, were, they offered you that role, correct? Well, I, I, I don't know exactly what happened. I, 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 for years, when Roger would leave, I think because we were on days at the same time, time and he was doing one life they would call up every time roger would leave they would sort of there was a rumor that you would sort of go replace roger but i think they always i don't think you really replace roger and i think that he you know he's so good at that role they always would leave it open for him right. and then when they originally called i think there was some talk of that and then i think they're really happy with what trevor was doing and to be honest with you I, I didn't want to play the part that was really the bottom line i think that that was that and roger does it great and so they created something new and that was kind of nice to be able to you know sink your teeth into something yeah that was a bad vampire <laughs> Sink your teeth. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of sinking Sink your, your teeth. teeth, you played a vampire on Port Charles. Yeah. And what did you think when you first heard? Yeah. Now, did you know Caleb was going to be a vampire? No, this is the thing. They sort of, uh, it was a 10 week thing, and you figure, well, I could do anything for 10 weeks, you know? Yeah. And uh, then I went in for the first meeting after I had agreed to do it. And uh, let me just say this never say you're going to do something until you at least see one script. I remember, going, <laughs> I remember going home that first script that night and going, this is ridiculous the way this guy's talking, you know? And then I went into the video store and I rented Dracula with Gary Oldman. And, right. oh, yeah. and I, I, I saw this performance and I was blown away. I'm like, there's no way I can do what this guy's doing. And then I actually wrote down all his lines in the movie. And I realized if I had seen it in a script, I, I wouldn't have done that either, you know? Uh -huh. So I really realize it's, it's your commitment, and I feel if you commit to anything, you can make it work. Well, let me tell you, that, that is... You did. For me, that is one of the top characters ever in daytime, and not an easy character to play. Now, did you think you would do another soap after Port Charles? No, no, but uh, I lost a poker game with Brian Franz. And, uh, <laughs> Who's the head of daytime yeah, at ABC? Head, head, head of daytime, and uh, he had some things on me uh, that I just don't want to talk about at this point. <laughs> And uh, he said he'd keep those quiet. And so we're on One Life to Live. No, it was a, it was a great opportunity to go work and, and 